गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो दैट वी हैव स्टार्टेड कंपाउंड नंबर वन दैट इज एच सी एल इन दैट लेसन वी हैव सीन इंट्रोडक्शन इट्स फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टी लेबोरेटरी प्रिपरेशन फाउंटेन एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी दैट इज एसिडिक प्रॉपर्टी दिस एसिडिक प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ एच सी एल वी विल वाइल वी विल going through this all the properties at that time the acid which we use it should be dilute acid so first of all let let us see the five basic general reactions with the help of this general reaction only we are able to see it one by one so the first general reaction will be metal plus dilute acid it will gives us salt and hydrogen this one is the first general reaction after that the second general reaction will be carbonate or bicarbonate plus dilute acid it will gives us salt plus water plus carbon dioxide the third general reaction will be sulfate or bisulfate plus dilute acid it will gives us salt plus h2o plus so2 now in the fourth one here we have to see sulfides when sulfides is react with dilute acid it will gives us salt plus hydrogen sulfide and the last and the final one that is fifth one where base when it react with dilute acid it will gives you salt plus water and this reaction called as neutralization reaction all the five are the general reaction properties of hcl let us see one by one with the help of reactivity series last year also in in ninth standard we have seen activity series in the activity series first of all take the first one metal plus dilute acid metal plus dilute acid it will gives us salt and hydrogen last year we have seen activity series let us write the activity series in a sequence the first element is potassium sodium calcium magnesium aluminium zinc iron lead hydrogen copper like this all the elements we have to write in sequence try to recall all this uh, try to recall this activity series it will help you to understand all the properties very properly so the first potassium and sodium are the potassium and sodium are the no. most reactive so they react with hcl explosively means it react very rapidly then calcium from calcium up to iron from calcium up to iron they react with hydrogen they react with hydrogen and liberate they react with dilute acid and liberate hydrogen react with metals and liberate hydrogen then after pb lead is very 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 slow so The reaction is very slow lead react very slowly react very slowly and after that from hydrogen up to the platinum this group of elements or the metals they do not liberate hydrogen when they react with acid they do not liberate hydrogen 
when they react with dilute acid. Now with the help of this general reaction, let us see some uh, examples. For example, we will see for the calcium. Calcium react with dilute acid, then it produce calcium chloride plus hydrogen. Then let us take the next one, zinc. Zinc react with dilute hydrochloric acid, it produce zinc chloride plus hydrogen now when this metals react with when this active metal react with dilute acid at that time while uh, when the reaction is going on we will observe some points let us see the observations so observation are like this first of all the gas which evolved that is colorless and orderless the gas is colorless and orderless after that we will observe some effervescence some bubbles will comes out and the gas is neutral to litmus the gas is neutral to litmus means if we if this gas is react with litmus it will remain the, uh, the litmus paper remain neutral so in this way the first point we have a first general reaction we have completed whenever the metal react with dilute acid it produce salt and hydrogen now here potassium and sodium they react more vigorously that's why the reaction will not be taken place then from calcium up to iron all this active metal they react with dilute acid and it, they produce hydrogen for example calcium when react with dilute hydrochloric acid it produce calcium chloride and hydrogen zinc react with dilute hydrochloric acid it produce zinc chloride and hydrogen when the reaction is going on at that time every now and then we are observe we are not uh, we are noting down the observations so the first observation when the reaction is going on the gas which evolved that gas is colorless and odorless odorless means it does not produce any type of smell then when the reaction will taking place at that time it produce some effervescence we can easily find out some bubbles in the test tube so that bubbles are nothing but the effervescence and the gas which is produced while the reaction is going on it is neutral to litmus okay after that the second reaction is like this second general reaction is with carbonate or bi carbonate plus dilute acid it will gives us salt plus water plus carbon dioxide the same activity series we will follow this time also when when this uh, when the metals which uh, just now we have seen in the activity series for example take any any one first of all we will take sodium when sodium carbonate is react with dilute acid it will produce sodium chloride plus water plus carbon dioxide in the same way sodium is from the first group that is sodium and potassium now from the second group let us take copper copper carbonate when it treated with dilute acid sorry here we have to take hcl dilute acid that is hcl it will gives us copper carbonate plus water plus carbon dioxide now let us take one more example from the third group so that we will uh, this two with the carbonates now let us take with bicarbonate that is sodium bicarbonate it will react with hcl that is dilute hcl it will gives you sodium carbonate 
सोडियम बाइकार्बोनाइट रिएक्ट विथ डायलेट एच सी एल इट विल गिव एस एन ए सी एल प्लस एच टू ओ प्लस सीओ टू सो दिस इज द सेकेंड रिएक्शन वेन कार्बोनेट और बाय कार्बोनेट इज रिएक्ट विथ डायलेट एसिड इट विल गिव यू सॉल्ट प्लस वॉटर प्लस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड नाउ द थर्ड टाइप इज द सल्फाइड्स सल्फाइड्स प्लस डायल्यूट एसिड इट विल गिव अस सॉल्ट प्लस वॉटर प्लस एसओ टू सो लेट एस टेक सम एग्जाम्पल फॉर दैट द फर्स्ट वन इज जिंक सल्फाइड प्लस एच सी एल इट विल गिव यू जिंक क्लोराइड प्लस एच टू एस फॉर बैलेंसिंग वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई एच सी एल बाय ट्वाइस लेट एस टेक वन और टू एग्जाम्पल मोर फॉर एग्जाम्पल फेरस सल्फाइड वेन इट ट्रीटेड विथ डायल्यूट एसिड इट विल गिव यू फेरस क्लोराइड प्लस एच टू एस नाउ इन ऑल दिस रिएक्शन द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट एक्टिविटी सीरीज विच यू हैव टू रिकॉल आफ्टर दैट द नेक्स्ट मीन्स द फोर्थ वन इज द सल्फाइड और बाय सल्फाइड सल्फाइड और बाय सल्फाइड वेन इट ट्रीटेड विथ डायल्यूट एसिड इट विल गिव यू सॉल्ट प्लस वॉटर प्लस एसओ टू दैट इज सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड नो वन एग्जाम्पल वी विल टेक ऑफ सल्फाइड वन एग्जाम्पल वी विल टेक ऑफ बाय सल्फाइड सो द फर्स्ट इज ऑफ सल्फाइड इज सोडियम सल्फेट प्लस टू एच सी एल इट विल गिव यू दैट इज एन ए सी एल प्लस एच टू ओ प्लस एसओ टू फॉर बैलेंसिंग वी विल मल्टीप्लाई दिस एन ए सी एल बाय ट्वाइस दिस इज वन ऑफ सल्फाइड नाउ लेट एस टेक विथ बाय सल्फाइड दैट इज सोडियम बाय सल्फेट प्लस एच सी एल इट विल गिव यू एन ए सी एल प्लस एच टू ओ प्लस एसओ टू all the observation for for this reaction observation are almost same gas is colorless if for once is will be seen smell of burning matchstick will be means uh, we will feel then it turns potassium permanganate kmno4 solution pink to colorless here kmno4 solution turns pink to colorless other observation same colorless gas order of burning matchstick then uh, it turns lime water milky it turns it turns milky now this four we have seen now the fifth one is of base or alkali the fifth one is with the base plus dilute acid it will give you salt plus water okay this reaction is also called as neutralization reaction because in the neutralization reaction acid react with base to produce salt and water for example naoh when it treated with hcl it will give you this na come with contact with cl and this here so it will produce nacl plus h2o this reaction called as neutralization reaction if we will see it here acid and base react with one another to produce salt and water but if salt and water react with one another they produce acid and base so in this way we have finished all the five 
acidic properties of HCl. In the next lecture, we will move towards the another point. Till then, children, if you want, you can write all these important points in your in your notes notebook. And after finish uh, finishing the lessons, I'll give you the question answers that you have to write in your uh, another notebook which you have prepared for question answers. Till then, children, good day.